Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, welcome to this video. In this one we're talking Oppenheimer. Uh, I know you've probably seen the ads for the movie or heard about it. Uh, so I'm gonna do my quick super spin on uh, what the poster would look like. This is my example. I'm gonna take you into Affinity Photo and just show you how I, uh, how I made it. Okay, so the first thing is I wanted a real picture of Oppenheimer, and actually him. I think this picture's from 1958. So what I did first is grab the selection brush tool and I'm just going over top of him and making a kind of a decent slash rough selection to cut him out because um, he's going to be the main focus of this poster. I'm just going around with the matte brush and uh, the background and foreground brush here in selection brush tool, just making sure he looks clean. Now that he's cut out, uh, I'm going to the pen tool. And with the pen tool selected, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around and clean up those areas around uh, by his shoulder, over his hand in the pipe and by his ear on the other side here just to clean it up so it's a nice uh, clean looking selection. So now that I've made that selection, I'm happy with that, I guess. I'm just trying to find a position for it. And uh, after this, we have this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a background. Now I wanted something with a lot of color um, to give a good amount of contrast. So I picked this kind of sunburst. Obviously it's, it has to do with the atomic bomb the movie. So there's uh, some, I got some orange and some red. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna put an HSL adjustment on this background because I want it to look a little bit more red than orange. So I've grabbed an HL, HSL adjustment. I'm just adding it to the background here. And I'm just gonna play with the sliders here to make it a little bit more red. So ready orange. Um, and I'll show you the difference here in a second. I'm not sure which actually looks better, but um, that's the difference. And I'll put uh, Oppenheimer in front here. And this is what we're gonna go with the background. So I got a bright background with a black and white foreground. Now I could have used a model, uh, but I actually wanted to use him for this uh, poster. So this is the best example I have. This is actually him. Now I'm grabbing a curves adjustment because I want to make him darker. I want to make even a bit more contrast there. So I'm going to darken him using curves. And then next what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my curve selection. So there's with it on and off. I want to paint away some of this selection because I want his left side to be dark and his right side to be a little bit brighter. So I'm just grabbing my brush uh, because each adjustment has a mask built in. So I'm just brushing away some of the darkness on his right hand side. So his left side is darker, his right side is a little bit brighter here. Now I'm going up to my new live filters here and I'm gonna add a, I'm gonna sharpen and I wanna add a uh, clarity. And I'll show you what this does in a second. It kind of brings out detail. So I'm grabbing my uh, clarity filter and I'm dropping it on top of Oppenheimer here. And if you see if I drag the slider up, uh, if you look on the right side of his face, it kind of brings out a bit more detail. And I play with this back and forth through the uh, through the actual poster, but clarity kind of can have kind of a cool effect of making things maybe a little bit rougher or make, giving it a different sort of look. Um, so after that, I'm adding a new pixel layer. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to make some smoke coming out of his pipe. And to do that, I'm actually using a cloud brush. So the brushes that are actually just clouds in the sky, um, but I'm gonna use those to make um, smoke or to, you know, the illusion of smoke here. So I'm just grabbing my paintbrush tool here out of my tools menu on the left. I'm picking a particular cloud of a, a brush, just kind of looks a little bit like smoke. And then I'm just gonna decide um, positioning, what color I want it to be. Uh, I'm probably gonna start moving um, him around to see uh, if I can get a little bit more canvas for the smoke because I want it to be um, a feature in the poster. Uh, not everything, of course, it's, it's, it's Oppenheimer, but I want another um, image over here. So now I'm just playing with uh, his placement, the background, what's gonna look best. And I decided sort of on uh, a dark brownish sort of color, this one here for the smoke, because it also gives a lot of contrast. It's not black, it's not light, it's somewhere in the middle. So I'm just going around and placing some of that uh, smoke to make it look like it's actually coming uh, out of his pipe. And it's starting to come together slowly. Uh, now my next idea here is I'm taking this city. So I have the image of this city. And what I'm gonna do is I just want the buildings. I don't want the sky or the water there. So I'm gonna grab the selection brush tool and I'm just gonna paint the city here so I can grab some of that. And I'm just refining it here, getting rid of some of the background and just making it look kind of like a clean selection. Now that I have that selected, I've got this city here, which looks totally out of place. But my idea here is to take the city and to clip it inside the smoke. So I'm gonna grab the city and I'm just gonna drop it and drag it inside the smoke. If you look in the right hand side in the panel there, I've dropped it into the smoke and now it's in there and I'm just gonna bring the opacity down so it fits a little bit better. So I'm just bringing the transparency down essentially. 
So now we have Oppenheimer, this cloud of smoke coming out of his pipe, and now the city is in there. And now I'm adding what is to be a, a bomb, it's supposed to be, you know, this movie's about the atomic bomb, so I'm adding in a bomb falling onto a city, and I'm just messing with the blend modes and the colors to see what that looks like. Now in this part, I am taking a, I did this in my last video, um, I'm taking a rectangle and I'm matching it to a color in the sky. From there, I'm clipping it inside Oppenheimer, and from here I'm changing the blend modes. Now my idea here is essentially is I want some of the background highlights on his face and on his jacket because that's actually what it would look like if it was behind him. So I've taken a rectangle, I sampled the color from the sky, I made the rectangle that color, I clipped it inside Oppenheimer, I'm changing the blend modes, I'm picking screen, and now with that selected, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, um, uh, like a gradient, and I'm going to pull it from his uh, right to his left because I want the, on his right side to be lit up more and I still want the left side to be fairly dark. So um, what I've done is basically halved it almost. So um, you can see the more of the color on his right side and it fades to the left because that's the darker side. So now that I have that, it's obviously a little bit too strong. I don't want it to look quite like this. So I'm gonna add a mask to this rectangle and then I'm just gonna start painting away um, some of the stuff that I don't want. So I'm gonna go on his body and his hands and I'm just gonna erase a lot of the stuff that I don't want because I just want it to be behind his shoulder and on his hand and on the pipe, on the side of his face um, to see if it was behind him, just to make it look a, a little bit more realistic that the highlights would be coming off his jacket and his hand and the side of his face. And after I do this, I'm also gonna add just some highlights behind his ears and his head and on the left side of his jacket just to make it look Again, a little bit more real, a little bit more that he's that he's in the atmosphere. So just painting on some some highlights there, just to make it look a little bit more interesting. And here I'm playing with the blend modes of the smoke because I thought I was going to change it, and I decided to uh, keep it. So um, and now I'm just adding some additional smoke and things around the pipe to make it look like maybe it actually is coming out of the pipe. And I'm just removing some more of the uh, shadows on his face there, and now I'm just playing with things in the background to see, um, just to make it look maybe a little bit more interesting, a little bit more appealing. Add some more stuff around the pipe, some smoke, things like that, just to make it look, you know, something. Now I'm burning the edges. So I just thought basically I'm just adding a pixel layer and in black, I'm just lightly painting around the edges just to make it like a little bit more interesting. And uh, now I'm playing with some fonts. I'm gonna add the font obviously. And what I'm doing on the font is just a white font, but I'm adding a um, outer glow. I'm grabbing a color from the sky. So I'm grabbing my color picker grabbing one of the samples from the sky, applying the glow uh, to that, and then just bringing that out there. So that's what I'm doing there. And we're just about done here. This is a speed edit, so uh, this kind of went fast, but I hope you picked up something from it. And I'm also gonna add some text at the bottom so it looks sort of more like a movie poster. So I'll add what they had on the original poster, which is I think shot in IMAX, um, and uh, Put it all together. So uh, we got the original Oppenheimer, black and white, colorful background, good contrast, added the smoke, the city, the bomb, the text. And uh, and once I was done, I went to a uh, the develop persona. You'll see here just really quickly, I, I go up to the develop persona and I'm messing with the clarity here. Uh, I'm gonna mess with maybe the shadows, the highlights. And this is our final example of Oppenheimer. So I hope you found this uh, helpful or interesting in some way. Uh, if you like the video, you know what to do. You just tap, tap, tap the like button. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you want to subscribe, we'll be best friends. We'll get a Coke and I'll see you in the next one.